7 Things People Get Wrong About the Hymen If you have a vagina, your knowledge about the hymen probably starts and ends with something about virginity. If you have a vagina, your knowledge about the hymen probably starts and ends with something about virginity. Or so the theory goes. Except it's not that easy. This thin membrane can tear from so many other things besides sexual intercourse. Some women may even be born without a hymen in the first place. And that certainly doesn't mean you lost your virginity before birth because, well, that just doesn't make sense. Because of the cultural importance placed on a surprisingly unimportant part of our anatomy, it's good to have a basic understanding of what the hymen is and what it does. Here are six things you may not know about your hymen. 1. The hymen stretches across the vagina's opening but doesn't cover it completely. The hymen is thin fleshy tissue that stretches across part of the opening of the vagina, Mary Rosser, MD, PhD, Division Director for General Obstetrics and Gynecology at Montefiore Health System, tells self. It doesn't cover it completely, otherwise there wouldn't be a place for menstrual blood to leave the body. 2. Not everyone's hymen looks the same, and some women are born without one. It normally varies in size, shape, thickness, elasticity and may even be absent, Rosser says. Though they come in different shapes and sizes, hymens are usually crescent-shaped. When we're babies, the hymen is usually thicker, and it thins over the years with activities like bicycling, horseback riding, or taking gymnastics classes. Being born without a hymen won't impact you or your sexual and reproductive health at all. 3. In fact, hymens don't have a known purpose. Just like your appendix and wisdom teeth, the hymen is a vestigial structure, meaning it doesn't really serve a specific physiological function. Evolutionary theory suggests that it formed to protect the vagina from bacteria, giving animals with a hymen a reproductive edge, but experts today still aren't really sold on a reason why they're still around. 4. Some women may have a hymen that needs to be surgically removed, but it's rare. An imperforate hymen is a hymen that blocks the vaginal opening. This is usually diagnosed in adolescence when you start menstruating. If period blood has no way to leave the body, it can build up and cause stomach and back pain and problems going to the bathroom, according to the National Institutes of Health. A minor surgery is done to remove the excess tissue and usually a vaginal dilator is used for a period afterward to make sure the opening doesn't close back up. A young woman who has this procedure will go on to have totally normal vaginal function. 5. Some women feel their hymens break, other times, there are zero signs. Many people's hymens thin over time and may eventually tear with zero fanfare. For others, the separation or tear may be more obvious. It may be totally unnoticeable, or you may have pain or bleeding with first tampon insertion or first intercourse, Rosser says. You're more likely to experience an obvious break if your hymen is thicker or more rigid and less stretchy. 6. Honestly, yours probably broke before the first time you had sex. If your hymen thinned over time, which many do, it may already be history before your first sexual encounter. Activities like biking, horseback riding, and gymnastics, plus using tampons and even masturbating, can all break your hymen, Rosser notes. And again, it may be completely unnoticeable when it happens. 7. Having sexual intercourse for the first time may hurt for reasons other than a broken hymen. A minor surgery is done to remove the excess tissue, and usually a vaginal dilator is used for a period afterward to make sure the opening doesn't close back up. Painful intercourse is fairly common for women anyway, and there are a handful of health conditions that can contribute to it. 5. Some women feel their hymens break, other times, there are zero signs. As for the bleeding, the hymen isn't always to blame. Sex may cause bleeding from the vaginal wall if there is not adequate lubrication or if there's fast, rough sex, explains Rosser. For others, the separation or tear may be more obvious 